What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, definitely still feel like under the weather today. Uh, I am going to be taking it easy, but we do have a dev stream prediction video about 24 hours before the March dev stream tomorrow. So, we'll be going over my predictions on that. We do have some information on what's happening, but yeah, really not a ton. We, have, we basically know they'll be talking about the next Prime Warframe, There'll be some more from 1999 stuff. And also, Dante Unbound is coming out in like six days. So maybe they'll show us a couple little things to finish off Dante Unbound before that gets released. So let's go over this. And of course, I will be covering the dev stream tomorrow on this channel and on my live stream channel as well. So go ahead and check that out if you have not already. And uh, there'll be a recap video on this channel tomorrow going over the dev stream. There will be no drop on the stream tomorrow. Just a reminder, if you're looking for a free Archon Shard or free Umberforma, not this time because it will be... At PAX East, actually, not at on DE's official normal stage, but let's get right into it with the predictions, okay? All right, so let's start off with the list. Now, I'm going to be a little bit more creative on this one compared to the normal uh, dev stream predictions because we already we already know, like, basically everything for Dante Unbound. So a lot of this will be future stuff that hopefully does get launched. And now let's go ahead with the first prediction. Now, they're going to be giving some more Warframe 1999 teasers and information. So let's start off with a big, heavy hitter right here. More human Warframes shown. So we have seen Arthur, who is basically Excalibur as a human, or whatever the lore is going to be of it. And the voice actor for Arthur, Ben Starr, will be on stage with DE for this dev stream. So I'm thinking they might take it a step further. Maybe they'll show us what Volt looks like in human form. Maybe they'll show us what Mag looks like in human form. And have the voice actors for that on stage, too. We'll see. That's my first prediction, that we'll be seeing further information on 1999, and even go as far as seeing other frames as their, like, you know, whatever, ninja, human ninja version. That's a big, big, uh, that's a big, <laughs> that would be big if we saw that, so that would be really cool. So let's hope that one does get shown. We've got to the next prediction. More disruption changes showcased. Now, this is one that's like, okay, we already know they're doing this, uh, and honestly, likely they'll be only showing the big, big stuff on the stage this year, or rather this month, uh, because, I mean, if they're on the main stage of PAX, who, like, the vast majority of people are not going to be caring about disruption changes. But if they do want to show, you know, the Necromech Demolus on the newest node, maybe that could be exciting to some people to see that really tanky Necromech Demolus. Uh, and they could talk about some additional changes, like as far as audio being less uh, necessary for disruption, and the little red icon being easier to see. So we'll see about that. Maybe not big enough for the stage this time. All right, another big one here. Now, we do... It's highly likely that Protea Prime will be the next Prime Warframe. But here's the question beyond that. What Prime weapons will be with Protea Prime? If you remember when the Protea Prime update, or rather the Protea Normal update came out, the Deadlock Protocol, Protea has a signature weapon called the Velox. It's like secondary pistol. So the second item is really going to be up to debate. What is going to actually happen? Now, I've got a lot of predictions on this this uh, this bingo card, and here is one of them right now, Strofa Prime. Is that even possible lore-wise? I don't really know if it's a corpus weapon or a tenant weapon. It's probably a corpus weapon, but also, if you know the lore of Protea, it's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy on her lore. So I could see things like this actually happening. So we've got plenty of Prime predictions on this bingo card, and one of them is the Strofa Prime. A tenant Strofa would be cool too, but yeah, Strofa Prime would also be sick. So, at the end of this prediction, let me know which ones you guys think should be the, would be the best. Uh, you know, Zorus Prime, Strofa Prime, Stolta Prime. I think the Velox Prime will probably happen no matter what, but yeah, I think Strofa or Zorus could be sweet, and then Stolta might be allowed as well. Moving on to the next one, Future Incarnon Genesis. Now, we do know there's two Incarnons coming in the... Uh, Dante Unbound update. There's going to be a the Onos, which is a pistol, turns into an arm cannon, and then I don't remember the name of the fist weapon, but it will have, like, basically Garuda blood spikes and you do a slam attack with it. So, two new Incarnons that are not Genesis coming in Dante, but Rebecca said there would be five Incarnons this year, so maybe we'll hear some teasers about, you know, maybe a Sabaris Incarnon, or a Sycharis Incarnon, or Tigris Incarnon. That would be great, uh, but maybe don't hold your breath for it. Although, there are going to be... So, here's one of the things. There will be community or, like, you know, uh, audience questions for this. So, if an audience quest, an audience member asks, where's the next Incarnon? Or rather, where's the, you know, is there going to be a uh, Tigris Incarnon? 
That might be a pretty awkward thing for D, so maybe we'll hear about that either way. That's why the next question's here too. Infested Lich mentioned. So we're gonna have, you know, the Dante about update in late March, very late March, and then until Tenocon, we don't know like what's happening really. So maybe there'll be an in-between update with infested liches between March, like you know, basically April and uh, Tenocon. So that would be great. And also, if a, if a audience member asks about infested liches, I wouldn't be surprised if they have to talk about it because it feels like infested lich gets mentioned every couple of weeks for DE somehow. All right, moving on to the next one. Another surprise buff. We got a surprise Gara buff in the uh, dev workshop the other day. Maybe they can talk about some other frames getting buffed on the main stage. It's always uh, fun stuff to hear as a you know, a player of Warframe, but again, they might just be focusing on the big, big stuff on the PAX main stage because general viewers don't really care about, you know, uh, Protea getting a heat turret buff or, you know, Proteus 4 getting a buff. You know, those things don't matter to people who are just being the general passerbys. So this might not be the dead string for those types of changes, but that would be great nonetheless. All right, so as far as more Prime predictions, a non-Deadlock Prime. I'm thinking that it's going to be the Velox Prime, but it could maybe be, you know, in addition, the Daikyu Prime, or maybe the some Prime Sentinel, like the Oxalis Prime or something. So that would be a bit boring if we got Oxalis Prime, but also I could see it happening. So if it's a non-Deadlock Protocol weapon, like not Stalta, Zorus, etc., etc., then you can fill in that square right there. New Prime Trailer. There's a lot of Prime stuff out here because we have limited information to go off of. Uh, that Gauss Prime trailer went really well for them, and it was also, you know, beloved by the community. So, I think that you have a high bar set now, DE. So, let's get a ridiculously good new Prime trailer for the next one. Hopefully, they have that. They might not have that. Maybe it's like a loiter thing, but if that is shown anyway, go ahead and put that in, in there. All right, Protea Prime. This one was said by Rebecca on the previous dev stream. Maybe it was a red herring, but I highly doubt it because chronologically, it should be Protea Prime next. Uh, pun intended. So yeah, you could probably that could honestly be in the the free square as they say they're going to be showing the newest prime frame on this stream. So we got a couple of them here: Zorus Prime, Stalta Prime, Velox Prime. All those squares, you know, probably not the best organization. You can re-scramble it if you want to make your own version of this bingo card because those all being right next to each other is basically impossible. But yeah, if you were to re-scramble this, I think that there's a potential for at least the Velox Prime. I think the Zorus Prime would be really cool too. But also, it's a story weapon. Do they ever really prime story weapons? Not that I remember. That would be really cool, though. we got Glaive Resurgence. This, again, might not be a thing they really announced on the dev stream at, at PAX. But this is a thing that players have been waiting for for a while. And it would be extremely exciting to have that announced on the dev stream. I, I would definitely go crazy if they announced on the dev stream. I know a lot of other players would, too. Especially people that have multiple, you know, multiple hundred Glaive Relics still or whatever. But that would be great to hear that at some point with Ember and whatever else Ember had, too. Next one, Warframe 1999 gameplay. They're going to show a teaser of it. Uh, you know, there was some 1999 stuff in Whispers in the Wall. So if they lead into that with, like, you know, no, new infested enemies or whatever, that would be great. And maybe some gameplay of, like I said earlier in, the, in the, the, the video, new human Warframes even. Okay, so we already wanted the Velox still to Prime. Uh, a crossover of it would be great. That's the next one here. Uh, we, If you think about it, a lot of other games get crossover events, like, okay, there's a crossover with the Ghostbusters, there's a crossover with Attack on Titan, there's a crossover with whatever, you know? Uh, we don't really get those in Warframe, like, ever, but I feel like we should. Like, maybe at least one or here or there. So, as long as DE's selective of who they are going to be cross doing crossover events with, we, we had, I think, one or two ever. We had one with uh, the Unreal Tournament, we got the Unreal Tournament Rocket Launcher skin, which was... It's no longer available, sadly. And we actually had a crossover with PUBG Mobile, where they, I think they had like Wukong or Excalibur in PUBG Mobile. But the problem is we didn't get anything in our game for that. We didn't get like a frying pan, melee skin, or whatever else PUBG isn't you know known for. So, bummer there. Maybe we can actually get one of those finally, because I've been wanting it for a while. And you know that would be a good amount of money for people buying those skins, too. So, maybe try that out, DE. All right, moving on. New Warframe Media Announce. Similar vein of a crossover event. Uh, I think there might be some kind of announcement for a non, you know, non-game uh, Warframe-related item. So maybe a Warframe anime, a Warframe, uh, you know, board game or something, or even a crossover event with another game. Would you could probably throw that in here too? So I'm hoping that, that we get that. Not hold my breath though, because we've I've been wanting that for years and we have not gotten that really in the slightest. So that would be great. New Prime Helmet is good. Now, if you didn't, you want to know my conspiracy theory about those Prime Helmets, a lot of the times these new Prime Helmets, I think DE makes them not look as good as a, 
you know, Tenogen helmet or a deluxe helmet on purpose, so it will push these skin sales. Like, for example, uh, you know, Wisp Prime's helmet's pretty good, but of course the Wisp Coven helmet is going to be better for a lot of players as well as the other Wisp Tenogen skins too. Just one example. Protea Prime uh, helmet hopefully is going to look good, but Protea Deluxe is going to be a hard, uh, some stiff competition basically. So good luck uh, going against that one. Uh, new pri Okay, so new Prime release, March 27th. Now, May, it will probably be more like in April, so maybe a couple weeks after, but it might be on March 27th. They sometimes release these primes on the days of big updates, although that would not be enough months for Gauss to really be sticking around. He, it might be in April, but if it is on the 27th, that'll be a really hype day, because remember, there's 11 new Augment mods coming out too. So you'd, you'd have a massive strain on your, your Syndicate rep uh, between 11 new Augment mods and Protea Prime Relics. That would be ridiculous. So let's see if that happens. It could be a very hype day. Actually, I kind of hope they don't do that, but it potentially could happen. Next one, Tenocon Cosmetics. The Tenocon uh, digital tickets should be on sale soon if they're not already. Uh, and we have not really seen... I haven't, I haven't seen the Cosmetics for it. Uh, that's going to involve things like the Borrow Katir, like Super Borrow with all the Borrow items you've ever had. Uh, and yeah, but we have not seen the Cosmetics, so maybe a new Ephemera or something could be cool for this year. Next one, Netrocell's Reset. We'll pro now, Pablo did say that we'll know about this before the, um, before the update comes out. But as far as Netracells uh, and the changes to them, I'm wondering if Netracells, like if you do your Netracells this Sunday and they're changing Netracells for the Deep Archimedians on Wednesday, are they going to reset Netracells for players that did them on Sunday? Pablo wouldn't give us a, a, a clear answer. He said the social or the community team would tell us more about that. So I'm hoping the community team tells us more about that on this stream. So not everyone has to go and like hunt down a forum post on like Saturday or Friday night. So hopefully they say it. On the main stage, your Netra cells are going to reset on Sunday. They might not do it, though, so keep an eye out on this channel uh, going over that stuff in the future. New Prime Helmet is bad. As I stated earlier, the new Prime Helmet is good. I personally have a conspiracy that, like, they sometimes make these helmets not as... Like, look at Pro, uh, look at uh, Korra's helmet, for example. Korra Prime's helmet is viewed in a pretty negative light by a lot of players, but there's amazing Korra Tenogen skins, like the Miyabi skin, that has cat ears on it. So it's going to be hard to compare, compare to that. Moving on, new Soul Frame stuff. Some of these Soul Frame, I think the Soul Frame game director is actually uh, on the way to packs with the Warframe game director. So Soul Frame and Warframe are going to both be there. Uh, so we'll probably see some Soul Frame stuff as they do have the main stage on packs to showcase their new things as well. Next one, uh, the drop is broken. I I know this is this could be the free one as well. The drop is broken. Reminder, there is no drop on this dev stream. Uh, basically, every Warframe dev stream does have a drop. This one does not. There's going to be people coming in and saying, the drop is broken. I think the you need to rerun the drop, DE. The drop didn't work this time. Uh, it, it It's not progressing for some reason. I know that will happen for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, just that, that could be in the free one. Uh, but, yeah, there will be no drop on this stream. Uh, but there will probably be alerts in-game afterwards. Like So, as far as the uh, you know, Gift of the Lotus alerts after the dev stream is done. And for the final square, new infested variants. If you if you look uh, very closely at the... the uh, Dex Nikana Anniversary trailer, there are new infested, like, reskinned enemies in there. Maybe we'll learn information about if we are going to be fighting those enemies. That could lead into, you know, infested liches leads into that, etc., etc. So, that's my predictions for the dev stream tomorrow. There's not really too much to go off of, but I do think they will not really be focusing on Dante Unbound, even though Dante Unbound is coming out the week after, because we know basically everything for Dante Unbound. And, yeah, really general general passerbys are not going to care about the Necromachdemolus DR equation and, you know, uh, the Archon Shard Fusion thing being showcased. They're not going to care about that. I think DE knows that, and they want to use their time on the main stage to the furthest extent as possible. That's why there's some bigger ticket items on there compared to usual. So I'll see you guys on stream tomorrow going over this. Uh, I will be live reacting to it. And then, of course, I will have a overview video on this channel after that's done because there's no drop, so a lot of people aren't going to watch it aren't going to want to watch the stream anyway. So I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate all the support. Take it easy. Peace.